Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of April 8th through the 14th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this week feels like you are taking care of business and it may be difficult business. It may be something difficult, something hard, something that right now feels like a chore. But I feel like at the end of the day, and especially when, when this is done and over with, you're not going to see it the way that you're seeing it now. But it, I definitely feel like you're doing some very important stuff this week Scorpio but I think that the focus right now is how to overcome the how to overcome seeing it as a chore and as a challenge I think that right now this is a very bittersweet moment that you could be having in your life like maybe you are getting ready to make a very big change um, you're kind of trying to put yourself in a position to be successful and that might include having to create some boundaries, cut some ties, remove certain people or certain things from your life so you can stay the course. And I feel like the reason why it's bittersweet and maybe the reason why you've you know had to put a lot of thought into it is because you may have to let some people down. And while I, I feel like you know deep down inside that that's part of the process and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but just a natural thing, I feel like this week in particular could be the week where you have a lot of interactions or a lot of, you know, very direct conversations that, you know, will require you to prove to yourself that you're putting yourself as a priority, you know, kind of like when you're faced with someone um, who you may have to disappoint. It's almost like in that moment is the true test, right, where you may feel like, whoa, you know, I knew it was going to be hard, but I didn't think it was going to be this hard. But I think that the beauty of it all is that once it's done and you realize that you've done the last thing you need to do to set yourself free from something, you're going to feel like you're on top of the world, right? You're going to have this sense of, man, that was difficult, but I did it. And now that I did it, I'm free. So yeah, it's just a very bittersweet situation. We have the five of cups, nine of swords, five of wands, and the six of pentacles. I feel like part of what's happening right now for you, Scorpio, is that you're doing something that's going to bring about some sort of a balance into your life. Because I feel like you've been in a situation where you've been giving and giving and giving and not receiving enough. And you're realizing, um, you know, that it's time to change. It's time to make something about this different for yourself. Because I feel like with the Nine of Swords, you've been really struggling um, with the situation in some way, shape, or form. Like, it's been hard to see that day after day you get the same sort of treatment or that, you know, the situation doesn't improve. Like, you know, maybe you're tired of always being in a position of, you know, getting shorthanded in some, in some way, right? Kind of like, enough is enough here. And I feel like for you, it's, it's more of a mental pain than it is any other type of pain. It's not like someone is physically you know, doing harm. It's more like the emotional part of it is what has been really difficult for you. And I feel like this week it's it's bittersweet, but at the same time, you're you're taking care of business that needs to be taken care of if it means you keep your sanity, right? Like if it means you, you're able to keep moving forward without this continuing to hold you back. So with this five of cups, you're mourning the loss of something you know you need to let go of, but in the same way, you're also understanding that this is part of life. I mean, this is one of those weeks where the phrase, it is what it is, may just actually be the core of it, right? Because sometimes we have to accept what's happening in that moment and then just leave it there. Not try to understand it too much, not try to dive too deep in it or even, you know, complicate it or overanalyze. Sometimes things are the way that they have to be in order for us to move forward with our lives. And while right now you may be thinking a lot about how it's going to happen, what you're going to say, how they're going to react, at the end of the day, you're doing something that's going to allow you to be successful in the long run, right? You're doing something that is going to help you set yourself up for success and then continue to manifest what you really want. So with that Six of Wands and the Magician right behind that Four of Cups, it's like you can think about this all you want, but at the end of the day, 
you are doing what is best for you. And I feel like the universe wants to confirm that. So with this five of wands, it's, it's also kind of like you could already be anticipating what someone is going to say, how they're going to react, or maybe just the tension or the drama of it all um, could be, you know, kind of difficult to deal with. Kind of like sometimes you hate that you have to be in certain positions, but you know that you can't avoid them. So we just got to fight the good fight and hope that it ends well, right? But I think that right now, the best thing about the energy is that it's very transparent and it's very mature. You're not lying to yourself. You're not saying, oh, this isn't possible or this isn't going to happen. You're saying this might happen and it may not be fun, but I know that I'd rather deal with this than continue to put up with that. So in a sense, Scorpio, you're kind of like picking your poison because at the end of the day, your your outcome should include you being set free from something, not staying in the same boat and continuing to drown under the same water, right? It's like we have to, at some point, choose which which way we're willing to, to, to go. And I think that there could also be some, you know, difficulties here because of the people that you're dealing with, right? The connections that you're severing from your life. You know, maybe it's close bonds, close friendships. But at the end of the day, I think that you're doing this with all of the intention in the world because you know for a fact that you're not wanting to put up with this anymore. You don't want to feel this way. So if something needs to happen and it may not be easy, but it'll certainly be worth it. But yeah, there's a very like solemn, kind of like bittersweet, um, and yet a very accepting energy coming through. So let's clarify the five of wands. Yeah, so I just heard better to be safe than sorry. And I also feel like that's part of, of the energy here, right? It's like better to be safe than sorry. Better to deal with the discomfort now then go through a whole lifetime of suffering, right? So with the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck, to further clarify the Five of Wands, I feel like the Seven of Swords could be that you could, you could receive some unexpected reactions or responses or, you know, whoever it is that you are walking away from or whatever it is that you're changing right now, I feel like they're going to put up a fight and it may include some sort of, um, I don't want to say manipulation because that, that's kind of a nasty word, but it's kind of like when people try to make you feel bad about something that you're doing, um, you know, kind of like they could try to deceive you about your own plans or deceive you into thinking you know, differently about something that you've obviously put a lot of thought to. Kind of like in their last moment with you, they're going to do everything under the sun. Try every, you know, I mean, skill that they have or whatever. Um, and they're going to use that to see if it influences your decision. And I, you know, honestly can say that it won't. But it's kind of like you have to give them an A for effort. Someone is just going to try very hard to change the way that you're thinking about this, Scorpio. But I think that right now, what you need to keep in mind is that that's because they don't, they don't want to lose you or they know that what you're doing makes a lot of sense. So it's almost like you could read between the lines into their behavior and know that what they're doing is projecting um, a sense of guilt, maybe, for those of you that have been dealing with a situation where the purpose, where the person that you've been um, dealing with has been, you know, kind of in the wrong. You can take that um, however you want. It's not going to resonate the same with everybody. But yeah, somebody's going to use everything that they have um, in order to keep you somewhere. We have the Two of Swords, the Empress, and the Eight of Wands to further clarify this Five of Wands as well. So I feel like the communication is going to be very intense. Kind of like you could be having a lot of back-to-back -back conversation with this person. But I feel like with the Empress, this is you needing to stand up for yourself and remember why it is that you're doing this in the first place. Kind of like when, you know, the odds are up against you or when, you know, whoever or whatever is making it seem like you're acting selfishly. You know, kind of like remember, yes, I am acting selfishly because now is my time to be selfish, right? Like I'm, I'm being given the right to think for myself and put myself as a priority because I've had enough of doing the opposite. 
So don't ever forget that. And I feel like with the Two of Swords, you may have a moment where what's being said makes you think like, hmm, you know, maybe, maybe this, maybe that. But at the end of the day, the Two of Swords is the trap. It's like someone wants you to feel indecisive. Someone wants you to overthink and second guess yourself, but that's, it's just not going to work. In fact, that could be the deception that the universe may be trying to warn you about. It's like, they're going to say a whole lot of stuff, but it's only to fool you into thinking that you don't know what you actually want. But in the end of the day, Scorpio, you do know what you want. And I feel like with this eight of wands, you've, you've prepared too long for this moment to all of a sudden be moved by words that are not your own. So it's like very subtle but powerful messages coming through here, but I think it's important because during these kinds of moments, that's that's what we need to keep close to us the most. So let's clarify the fool. All right, we have the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. I mean, that's, it's, everything is pointing to putting yourself first, Scorpio. I think that this is not only you setting yourself free from something, and if I could just get this card. This is not only you setting yourself free from something and getting ready to open up a new chapter, but it's you saying that I don't, it's, it's you saying to the universe, I don't care anymore, right? And it's not the kind of not caring that means, oh, you know, whatever can happen and I'm not going to feel anything. It's the kind of not caring that says you're ready to assume all responsibility over your own life and not care about what other people think, say, or will do when that happens. Kind of like you're saying to yourself, I'm going to offer you, aka me, right? Me, myself, and I, I'm going to offer you this cup and you're, you better take it. It's like you're having a conversation with yourself because a lot of you have been putting up with stuff for so long and not understanding why something hasn't changed. And it's because you haven't put yourself first. You've been telling yourself that you're putting yourself first, but you're not really putting yourself first, but that changes now. So with this eclipse energy, with this retrograde, with whatever's going on, you're offering yourself a new beginning. We have the Seven of Cups, the Devil, which is Capricorn, and the Sun. I feel like the universe is saying, you've always had free will, right? You've always had all of these different options, but you were toying around with two different uh, possibilities for a while and you finally made the right choice. You were dancing with the devil for quite a bit, and I say that loosely, don't take it seriously, but now you're embracing the sun. So I feel like a lot of you have recognized what it means to dance with the devil, or you know what this is like. You know how the situation has been for you. You're very familiar with it. You almost know it so well that a part of you is like, well, maybe that's why I stayed there for so long, because I was familiar. I knew. But now you're not okay with that anymore. It's not enough to be familiar and to know something so well. Now you're ready to just be happy, right? You're not trying to stay in a situation that is just easy for you to deal with. You want something that is actually going to make you happy, that's actually going to satisfy you and fulfill you, and that's where the difference is. This is you saying, I've got all these choices and I'm finally ready to make the right one. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this made sense because it was kind of a little out there. But if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.